Okay, I know I'm doing a lot of those uh, red, brownish, bronze, all those kind of looks. It's my favorite colors. I think they have become my favorite colors. Purples and lilacs used to be my favorites. And nowadays it's definitely those. So, okay, so I thought to do something a bit um, autumnal today. Like uh, something that goes uh, along these colors. This is a CND Vinylix color. And I just made a video, I didn't put it up yet, but of these uh, nail polishes, but yeah. So this is one of them. So I think probably I will go for just something like this in the crease. And I know I'm not crazy about these matte colors from here, but because they're kind of dry. And uh, it's El Maquillage, but these I will probably use some of these. I did put already this um, primer on because I think without a primer it's even worse for the eyelids, what we're doing with the eyes. So at least a primer between the skin and the powders, I think is a good idea. Yeah, if not for anything else, so for that, you know, for holding it in place, unless you like in a humid climate like me, or unless you have really oily eyelids, you probably wouldn't use an, uh, or really need a primer maybe, unless you want uh, a color to pop or something like that, if, depending on the primer as well. So yeah, but I use it now mostly for keeping something between my skin and uh, and uh, powders. Okay, so my brows are down and the primer is on. So I will take, um, I think a mix of these two for the crease. See, those are the like really neutral colors for the crease that I used a lot in the past. I didn't use these for a long time, but I don't have colors like, uh, let's say like these colors. I don't have them in any other, you know, uh, palette. So that's why I sometimes use this when I really want a, a look like this. So I'm trying to be really soft on my hand now then. A bit softer than usual maybe. Since my eyelids start to really show signs of, yeah, crinkliness and, you know, excessive <laughs> crinkliness whatever you know yeah so i'm trying really to hold it to the side that it won't move around too much and to be really light on my brush like yeah that's how you should do it all the time actually but not just when you get older but i know sometimes you just do things fast without thinking right that's how i do things many times <laughs> especially when i just you know get into the cars Okay, so now I think it's, this one is matte. There's some shimmer in it, but it's not that strong. So I will use that one next in the crease. Kind of a orangey, more of orangey shade. A little bit more up here, maybe. Those palettes are so clumsy and big, so you have to put them to the side. Just trying to get a little bit of a color in here, in the crease. Okay, now we'll go in with, I think, with the same, or a little bit smaller fluffy brush, but not also a fluffy brush, not a, not a brush that will, you know, put down too much color. So another one like this and this reddish brown. It's more red than brown. Kind of a rusty brown, maybe. And go with this one from down here. Again, trying to hold the side. And this one I'm taking out like a, a domed shape kind of thing a bit here. A little bit um, maybe, uh, you know, not so wide, a bit more narrow than usual. I'm going out so much with this color because it's so strong and more going up like that. Especially on this eye, I probably have to go higher up than on the other eye since it's much more hooded. So I'm shedding. Ah, that's so annoying. See here, I need to definitely have it higher up. Okay, now again to blend, I'm taking this mix that I took from the beginning from this, the little bit lighter brownie orangey shades that it won't be too red up here. Kind of round it a bit like that. 
Now I have to look ahead. All these really matte ones make all the wrinkles look even more pronounced. So I really don't agree with uh, what they say to use only matte when you have wrinkles because I think it's better with satin, not uh, glitter. Even shimmer you can have, but only where it's not really like crinkly. But where it's really bad like that, it's best to have like a satin color. So I think in the end of it, go over with something else because it really makes it look uh, like really crinkly and, and dry looking. Look at that. Whereas if you have a little bit of a sheen in it, it doesn't look that bad. So I will definitely go over with something when I'm done with the, the shades that I want to have in there. So a smaller brush like that and now this um, uh, darker reddish brown from here. Now we take that one. Hope it's not too small this, br this brush, but you know. In a way I want to put it also here and also here, but maybe it will, you know, close up my eye too much. I don't know. I will start just down here. I don't know how high I want it. Not too high, that's for sure. I will first take a fluffier brush like that and take the this color here under the eyes, just in a bit of a more of a fluffy way to begin with at least. And then I will take the smaller brush again and go in with those two darker colors, like these two here. And continue what I have kind of up here. Let me try and make this one a bit thinner here. It won't be too... Here maybe a bit more. Because it disappears since it goes inside here really sharp inside in my eye. So you don't see the line very well unless I make it a little bit, you know, wider here. So for here, in the beginning of the lid and to give it a little bit of a sheen, I'm taking this uh, magnetic rose from Estee Lauder. It's a middle, not so light, not so dark color. It's, uh, yeah, it has some gray undertone, so I don't really want it in the inner corner. It looks like, uh, like that. So there's some darkness to it too, you know, a little bit of gray tone. But it's very nice to have it like just here, maybe in the beginning. Oh, this was a big brush. Dang. <laughs> I kind of forget that I don't have a lot of place to put these shimmery colors anymore without making it look really, really like uh, too much. <laughs> Dab a little bit more here. Give it some less redness to it, you know, give it a little bit of a little bit up here too. So I'm not going to take it up here. I will leave it kind of matte over there and see, you know, with a spray like this Ofra spray after it, if it will make it nice enough that it won't feel so powdery and look so powdery because, yeah, let me try that. Okay, I will take this one also in the beginning under eye with a smaller brush this time. Just here a bit. Now if you use this one wet, it becomes like a sheen, but kind of stronger still than this. So I think this is strong enough. Like more metallic, that's what I wanted to say. Okay, for the inner corner, I'm using this silver white from Sisley. Just with the same small brush. Okay, before I start cleaning around down here, I will do this uh, Dior black uh, liquid liner. And again, I'm just pressing it in really close so I can get it also on my blonde lashes, on the root of them. To begin with, just like this, and then I will see where I will do. What I will do after that. It's not like I'm going for a wing or anything. I mean, on my eyes, there's no much chance of making a lot of wings. Now, I do have to lift it up a bit. I don't like having it too um, thin either. 
but then it looks really crinkly and wrinkly and Okay, so I did make it a little bit wider, maybe than usual. Just because of the red colors, I need a lot of black over there. And then maybe I can get away with not putting it inside because I don't feel like putting inside my eye today. Lips are a bit too dry here again. Um, okay, so now I need to do mascara, you know, curl lashes mascara. And I have a really nice mascara from um, uh, YSL. Just a, a sample, uh, baby doll, yeah. So that one I will use and it looks like that. It's really nice actually. I didn't think that it's gonna be this nice. And yeah, so just curl the lashes with my Revlon lash curl. I have two of those and I just changed those inside, you know, plastics. And of course I have to clean around and I will try and smoke it out a tiny bit again because I do realize it looks softer and nicer when you have a lot of wrinkles and crinkles going on here if you don't have a sharp line like I used to do. So I will try and do that and then be back for the skin. Okay, on my cheeks I will use this uh, Clinique Ginger Pop. It's a really like kind of neutral color like that. I call it neutral because it's like it's not pink and it's not orange. It's not coral either. I don't know. It really goes, in my opinion, with those kind of colors. And there's some slight sheen to it, which I really like too. So I will just put some of that one on. Maybe I will try and use a brush like this. Uh, let's see how that will work. Not so sure about this. Back to another brush. That's a lot of color. from here, like not too close to the nose, but you know, I'm trying also with this something new, <laughs> just, you know, to do something else. Now for highlighter, I'm taking this Dior in pink and it looks like that. And just a smaller brush, like, you know, fan brush kind of thing. And I'm doing this the same thing, the same way, like kind of like that and not like that. Starting from, he from here. Not taking it too much inside, but until the blush, you know, until here. Roundabout, I took the blush until here, I think. Yeah. So I will go the same far inside with this one and buff it a bit. Oh, that's a lot. Huh? Well. It's my face, it's, you know, my mistake. <laughs> a little bit in the dip here. I will do a little bit of a contour, not anything, you know, extreme, which I never do those kind of things, I think at least. So I'm taking this one from a Lancome palette, like the a trio like this. It's an older version of their blushes and trios, or I don't know what they have now. They still have some kind of trios, but this one is an old one, older version. And I'm taking just this pretty lightish color like that. And I'm taking also this one just straight out like that. A little bit less, you know, not so far inside. Kind of here and brush it up a bit. And I hope it's light enough that it won't be a funny mark over there. It is a pretty light color, but you know. Now with the brush that I used for the powder here, for the loose powder, I'm just, you know, mixing them in a little bit like this, that it won't be funny looking, hopefully. Okay, I thought to use um, a lipstick from Estee Lauder. It's 360 Fierce. One of those Envy lipsticks. It's kind of like the nail polish, you know, going in this kind of orangey, reddish brown. So I will use this one on my lips, but I need a lip liner. I think I would just go with this Dior in Fig because it's a kind of a neutral color. Okay, so now this um, lipstick from uh, Estee Lauder, just on a brush. Okay, so just the last uh, finishing spray with this Ofra makeup fixer. Um, it's more like a moisturizing spray, I believe. Not fixing much, I don't think so, but it makes the nice, you know, 
luminous kind of look. It's definitely good for those powdery eyeshadows. Look at that difference, huh? That's a big difference. Okay, so that's probably it for this uh, fall autumn look. And yeah, I know I'm using a lot of those colors because I really love them. All these uh, reddish, orangey, you know, these kind of colors, especially now, you know, this time of year. Even if I live in Israel and here it's still hot today, it's actually a really hot day, but I'm pretending, you know, candles and everything. <laughs> I'm pretending that it's getting cold and, you know, it's wintery. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again for watching. I hope you use all your colors and, uh, you know, try new things. If you're not happy with the way you used to do your makeup, I'm trying to do this dome, you know, shape more than I did before. I used to do just up in the outer corner, but nowadays this you know, eye especially is like really hooded in the middle of the eye. It used to be just, you know, a little bit here that I feel that it's heavy, but now it's like hooded from here, let's say, like all kinds of wrinkles and, and folds and coming down. So I kind of have to make it darker from here already. So I tried to start with this domed uh, kind of look. Anyways, I hope you enjoy fall wherever you live and, um, and your colors as well. Thanks for watching.